Hi there. This is Muhammad Saifuddin from Dhaka University of Engineering and Technology. At first, I want to give thanks from my heart to the authority of Green University who has given me a chance to perform here as a representative and my presentation topic is government washing. Now let's talk about the outlines of this presentation. This presentation contains introduction, objectives of washing, used chemicals and machineries in washing plant, types of washing process, type process and its effect, different types of sample development system. If you want to find the source of this presentation, you may click just on the icon below and you will be able to find out the source. Now let's talk about horse garments washing. Can you guess what's the difference between of these two picture? The difference of these two picture is washing effect. So the technology which is used to modify the appearance, size, outlook, comfortability and fashion of the garments is called garment washing. Now let's talk about objectives of garment washing. To create a wash look appearance after washing the garments create a new looks which seems the new touch of fashion. Faded or old look, color or tint effect is created in the garments which also seems the best touch of garments. To attract the customers or buyers for addition of value on a product for soft filling of garments, no possibility of further shrinkage of wash garments. Now let's talk about used chemicals during washing. Here we are washing several chemicals. First one is enzyme. The function of enzyme is bio stoning, bio polishing and bio -desizing. Now let's talk about detergent. As it is a cleaning agent, it removes the impurities, mineral oil, contaminants from the garments. Sodas develop the alkali medium and it enhances the bleaching effect. Then potassium permanganate, it is used acid wash for color fade out and its most common uses PP spray to create whitish effect. Now let's talk about hypo that means sodium thiosulfate. It reduces the chlorine dis effect. Now let's talk about acetic acid. It is used to reduce the alkaline medium or alkaline effect of, of garments. Then I'll talk about bleaching powder. We know that bleaching powder removes the color from the garments. Now let's talk about used machineries in washing plant. Here we are watching several machines. Those are used in washing plant. First one, hydro extractor, it extracts the extra water from the garments and removes them. Then front loading or vertical washing machine, resin booth from where we spray resin, tagging machine by which we may easily tag on garments, grinding machine which we create the grinding effect. And uh, the last one is horizontal machine by which we wash garments. In this slide, we are washing laser section, press 3D and 3D. By press 3D and 3D, we may easily create 3D effect on garments. Different types of washing process. There are two types of washing process, dye process and weight process. What's the core difference between of these two? One is without or very little amount of water. For another one, we need mass water. For dye process, we need few time. On the other hand, for weight process, we need longer time. Now let's talk about different types of washing process. For dry process, whisk car, hand sanding, destroy, PP spray, pigment is for several and several process. For oil process, we may use normal wash that means rinse, pigment wash, caustic wash, silicon wash, stone wash and etc. On the right side of the slide, we are watching two types of stone. Nowadays, plastic stones are available as the pigment stone is natural and it's rare. Now let's talk about whisk car. Whisk are nothing but the own outlines impression generated by natural wiring or hip and thigh area. There are many design and pattern available which is also called whisker. It is carried out in width direction. If we want to create the whisker effect on a garment, we have to spread the garments on an engraved pattern and by sandpaper we may easily create the whisker effect by hand sanding. Now let's talk about hand sanding. It is nothing but the uh, abrasion process with the sandpaper by hand. It is created on front thigh and back seat and it is carried out on the length direction. There are several types of sandpaper, 220, 320, 400, even it may be 1200. Now let's talk about destroy or damage. Destroy is an art which makes denim look unique and used. Currently one of the most popular distressing effect to make distraction, paint type of a stone tools is being used. 
if we want to create this effect on garments, we have to destroy the warp yarn by keeping no change in web yarn. Now let's talk about grinding. Grinding is being done on pocket edge, bottom hem by running against abrasive surface. It can be created easily by grinder. Now let's talk about laser fading on denim. Previously we have discussed some dry process that you created mechanically or by hand. All this process can be easily created or uh, implemented on denim by laser fading system. So there are several advantages of laser fading system. Zero water waste requires no chemical, eco-friendly, sustainable process, time saving, low cost, high accuracy. Any design can be easily made, no hairiness compared to the mechanical fading. Now let's talk about tie process and its effect. On the left side of the slide, we are watching two types of tie system, cable tie and net tie. If we twisting the different portion of denim and tie up them, we will correlate cable tie and its effect is longitudinal direction on the denim. From the sample, we are watching cable tie effect is longitudinal direction. But if we crushes the garments and make a ball and covering with a net, then if we treat it for white process, then its effect is created all over the garments randomly. Now let's talk about different process on developed sample and the core difference of conventional process and sustainable process. On the left section of the slide, uh, we have to find out the different dry process from a sample. Now, on the right side of the slide, uh, we're watching conventional process and sustainable process of developing sample. I want to just mention the sustainable process and its uh, specialty. We use PP substitute that is consisted of remover INDZ 85% and catalyst INDZ 15% instead of potassium permanganate that is harmful for our health. We use laser fitting system instead of hand rubbing that is costly and uh, time consuming process. For sustainable process we use a special type of chemical NAM Sokosten NS uh, instead of using stone wash. As the stone reduces the strength of garments, we use Sokostone NS, one kind of special chemical. That's all for the time being. If you have any question, please comment the section below. Thank you.